Hi, Tim Penny with the Southern Minnesota Initiative Foundation. Uh, this year, given the circumstances, uh, coming to you remotely as opposed to an in-person presentation. Uh, but we do like to keep you informed of the work of our foundation in the region. Uh, the Southern Minnesota Initiative Foundation has been around now for 34 years. Each year we expend roughly $5 million of resources and activities into this 20 county region in South Central, Southeastern Minnesota. Our key three areas of work are early childhood, entrepreneurship, and community vitality. In response to the current health and economic crisis, uh, we ramped up quickly with responses in these various areas. First of all, we offered over 500 grants, uh, totaling over $250,000 to early childhood providers in our region to help them uh, stay in business, help them pay their bills. Uh, we also issued about a million dollars worth of loans to small businesses across the region. Um, more than 30 businesses received that assistance. We also deferred loan payments for a number of our own loan clients to help them through this, tr this challenging time. Uh, we offered $100,000 in matching grants to the 30 small town community funds that we helped to manage. And we also afforded $30,000 of assistance to partners in the region who work with the local food sector to help these local food producers and processors with marketing uh, and um, dealing with their uh, challenges at this time as well. All of these activities in response to the COVID health crisis uh, were made possible by the financial support that we received from organizations, cities, counties, banks, individuals across this region, and we're so appreciative of that support, especially at this time. Uh, in addition to those activities, we have our ongoing work. Uh, some examples of that uh, are an equity investment with Sonics Health uh, in the Rochester area and dealing with the carpal tunnel uh, health challenge. Uh, we've also offered assistance to several communities in our region to help them address child care shortage needs. Among those communities are Austin and Wells and Eagle Lake. And we've offered grant support to the uh, city of St. James for uh, a program to celebrate the diversity uh, of that community. So those are just a few of the examples of work that we've done across the region. So now I'll just share a few examples of our more recent work uh, in your county. In Mauer County in the last couple of years, we've provided over $335,000 worth of support in a variety of ways. Uh, we funded uh, a loan through our Small Business Emergency Loan Program and offered seven deferments to existing loan clients to help them at this challenging time. We have provided a loan and technical support to Bella Victoria Italian Cuisine, to Jessica's Daycare, and safe rides, as well as ongoing technical support to all of our other loan clients in your county. 26 early childhood professionals attended our annual Early Childhood Provider Conference, and we provided support through our Child Care Shortage Program, which helped create 20 new child care slots in Austin and Leroy. 24 early childhood providers in your county received emergency grant dollars, and finally, I want to thank the county as well as the Austin Port Authority for their financial support. So those are just a few examples of some of the work that we've done in your county in the recent past. Uh, in conclusion, I just want to mention a few things. Uh, at the present time, we have our small town grant program underway. In addition, uh, in late September, we have our annual Entrepreneur Bridge Conference for small business training and a college shark tank competition. Uh, after that, we have our annual Early Childhood Provider Conference, which draws about 500 early childhood providers each year. We also have a feast festival that will be held uh, to celebrate local foods in our region. That's always in early December. And we have sprout events that uh, celebrate our work, and we hope to reschedule those in the very near future. So if you need additional information, please feel free to reach out to me or visit our website so again, thank you for your support and for this opportunity to present an update on the work of the Southern Minnesota Initiative Foundation.